but I remember just legging it all the way back to her. I was like, oh my God, she's been arrested. <laughs> this is my other best friend, like telling the whole group. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm back with a story time to break up some of the um, other bits and bobs I've been doing. I really actually enjoy doing story times because they make me laugh um, and they make you remember things as well and hopefully entertain other people at the same time. But yeah, I really do do. I really do enjoy doing story times um, and they're a little bit more relaxed than I guess the other type of videos because you're kind of just speaking rather than having to remember so many facts etc so i really do enjoy them so yeah as you can see by the title we're going to be doing a video today about when i got arrested um and a little bit about that time of my life so if you're interested keep listening so as you can see i, I say 14 that is a guess i could have been I don't think I would have been 13. I definitely, I say for, I'm pretty sure it's 14, could have been 15. Um, obviously, it's kind of hard to remember the exact um, time now because sadly not even in my 20s anymore. I was a, I was a bit of a rebel. <laughs> I was a bit of a naughty child. But yeah, so I'm not going to go into loads of detail of all the background of it because some of it's um, quite personal. But yeah, when, when I was growing up, my parents split up. I think I was about 10. Um, and that was just a really... Again, I'm not gonna go into loads of detail, but that was just a really crazy situation. Like, just mad shit happened. A lot of really bad stuff happened. Um, and obviously as a child, that is gonna have some type of an effect on you. People are gonna deal with it differently. Um, but yeah, just a lot of mad shit went down at that time. And a lot of bad stuff happened. A lot of, yeah, just a lot of madness. So there was a lot of changes going on. And then um, my mum remarried later on and there were a lot of other madnesses and bad things happening with that as well. Um, and a lot of that directly, some of that directly at me and obviously everything indirectly affected me. So I guess that's probably what led me down to the path to being a bit naughty. I think if my dad was still at home, I probably wouldn't have got away with a lot of that shit, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I don't think it would have gone down like that. So yeah, I think that's probably what did make me become a bit of a rebel. But I guess I've always been the type of person that doesn't like to be told what to do. Um, I've always known I was going to be self-employed for a very, very young age. So I guess that says a lot. Um, and I've always been a bit of a someone that questions things like, so yeah, I guess I've been a nightmare for a day. <laughs> I've been crazy since young. So, you know, it's nothing new to me. Um, but yeah, so I think basically all the family stuff that went on, and like I said, I'm not going to go and see it because we'll be here for hours, but there's a lot of bad stuff that went on. Yeah, I just, I think I just started acting out a bit. So I started drinking, I think I was about 13. I remember I first tried smoking when I was 11. I tried a cigarette, I remember stealing one. I think it was out of my mum's bag or someone, I can't remember, but um, yeah, so I do remember that. But I think I started properly trying to drink at like, I think I was about 13. Um, and again, I went to an all girls school um and we would obviously drink after school and stuff like that um but yeah i think it was 13 and we used to drink alcohol but i think it got worse as i got older i remember saying to my friend we were i was with my friend and i remember um her mum was going away so i suggested because obviously why not why don't you have like a house party and she thought it was a great idea so that's what happened so you know when you're young i don't know how many other people have done this but i literally went into my mum's cupboard I got everything out of that cupboard. Like I'm talking like Tia Maria, Martini, Vodka, Archers. I think even wine. I don't even know. But everything, you know when your mum just has a cupboard of mixed alcohol? Yeah, everything in that cupboard went into this drink. Um, obviously, my mum didn't know I was doing this. I was doing this behind my mum's back. <laughs> everything went into that drink. I was a good liar back then. I don't do that now. It's a sin. Um, <laughs> everything went into that it literally looked like sick because it all curdled with like the tea marie and the vodka oh honestly i don't know what the hell i was on back then um so yeah basically we had this big drink um and i literally filled up like a big bottle of lemonade but emptied it but filled it up with this shit mix what we would call it then you know a shit mix <laughs> Did anyone else call it that? It was just me. Um, so yeah, we get like a shit mix and we had this massive one. And I remember I took it to the friend's house and obviously we started drinking it. And I'm pretty sure I had red wine as well. I mean, can you imagine? I'm 13 as well. Obviously in this instance, due to the shit mix, I ended up paralytic. I don't remember anything. I literally do not remember anything at all, apart from when I woke up in the hospital. So all I, all I remember is my friends, um, 
I know I think I don't even remember anything after that. actually my friends told me that obviously once I was paralytic I think I threw up on the sofa I threw up in the cat bowl um they put me in the bath they got me in my underwear and put me in the bath they tried to bless <laughs> you know you're like oh we don't want to call the parents let's try and let's try and be a doctor so um yeah they put me in the bath like they did bless them they did everything they could and then they realized it really weren't working and I don't remember none of this um so they called they called an ambulance or called my mum and called an ambulance <laughs> I don't remember being in the ambulance, but I think I briefly woke up and was just like, it's a bit wumpy. <laughs> and that's literally all I remember. And then I woke up in hospital, but I was still drunk when I woke up. And then when I woke up, my mum was there and so was my nan and granddad. <laughs> Imagine waking up, you're 13, you've been paralytic and you're still drunk and your nan and granddad is watching you like stumble out of the bed. Oh, embarrassing. So embarrassing. Um, but now I look back and laugh, but yeah, that, that was mad. And I remember when, like, my mum, even though, even though my mum and dad didn't really talk um, for many crazy reasons, my mum, I think someone did tell my dad. Uh, he was fuming. Uh, I think I was still talking to my dad at that time. So, yeah, he was fuming. I think I got made to grout all the kitchen tiles, but obviously I went out and did the same thing the next day. <laughs> In fact, I did the same thing for years after, to be honest. So, clearly, that didn't work. Like, I weren't scared. Like, I would, at the time, I'm like, oh no, but then uh, the next day, I'm out doing the same thing. I, we used to drink, like, every, because this is leading up to the story, by the way, why I got arrested. We started drinking. Then we used to drink, like, pretty much every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday sometimes. So, I drank a lot from a young age. I think I even had liver changes at one time. So, we would literally, after school, like, go out, find someone, like, in, in the local town or whatever, or an older, whatever, to get us to buy the alcohol, give them the money. We'd then take it back to someone's house, obviously hiding it, get ready, sellotape the alcohol around our legs. So, we get stopped and searched a lot. So, we didn't want it, obviously, to be taken off us. They kept trying to put me on some type of ASBO at the time. So, we remember we used to literally, like, sellotape it around all of our legs and then walk out. Because I'm sure then the jeans back then were a little looser than what they are today, you know what I'm saying? Or I wore trackies, one of the two. But what was it like? What tracksuit would I have worn? Like Mackenzie or, you know, A9, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we do. Then we'd go, and this is so bad, even in places like cemeteries. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I repent. But we would drink in cemeteries, like bush it anywhere we could find where the police wouldn't find us and we were well hidden, basically. We would just get wrecked. And I would drink the drink straight out of the bottle. I wouldn't mix it. This particular night, I think this is the only time I formally got arrested. Um, this particular night, we, we do, do, who remembers Lambrini? That's <laughs> like two pound for a big bottle. So we had a big bottle of Lambrini. So what we would do is drink half of the bottle of Lambrini and then mix the other half with like vodka from Iceland, more like paint stripper. And we'd mix it and then drink that. I really was a rotter. Um, and then, yeah, we would drink that basically. <laughs> We'd gone to somebody's house that night. Um, and I was pretty drunk. I think I'd thrown up in the alleyway about two or three times before the police even got there. And then I don't know why or how, but we were out on the road, like on the main road. And there was obviously other houses and cars and stuff. And we were all pissed. And we were all wearing similar stupid outfits, like stupid skirts, totally inappropriate outfits. Um, and we were all out. Obviously, at these times, our parents just think we're at someone's house. Like, obviously, we lie and stuff. Um, or we just get drunk early. <laughs> um, and basically, we were out and... I don't even know what happened. I remember people being around cars, people kind of bashing about a bit, but I don't remember nothing that happened. Next thing I know, the police come. I'm getting arrested with my one of my best friends. We both get arrested. And at this time, I've got no idea what I've even been arrested for. I mean, I'm pissed out my head, so I probably wouldn't remember if they told me anyway. But I'd just thrown up about three times. They asked me if I'm drunk. I was like, no. Obviously, it was blatantly obvious I was pissed. I probably stunk like sick in alcohol. And then, because I was so drunk, when I got in the back of the car, me and my friend, I, I think I just, was just started crying. I know I definitely did. But where I'd had quite a lot of mascara on, because then I used to put it on so thick, it looked like I had dead spiders on my eyes. Um, they weren't really fake lashes back then. So, you know, uh, we don't look like 15-year-olds today or 14 year olds today I actually look like a 14 year old just in inappropriate clothing and inappropriate behavior but um yeah I remember that we got arrested and where I went this thick mascara had obviously gone down my face <laughs> literally I remember when someone showed me my face later my whole face literally had black smothered all over it like literally it's like someone had got it and just done that I looked fucked <laughs> And I was so drunk. I just remember getting put in this cell and I was freezing as well. I, I don't even, I think I laid down, but I, I don't even know how long I was in there. Like, if you are going to get thrown in a cell, it's best to be drunk because you don't remember shit. I don't remember how long it felt. I don't remember how bad it was. I just got thrown in there. And then they remember them trying to take a picture of me and I literally would refuse to let them take a picture. Someone had to hold my head. 
because I was not on them having my picture or anything. Oh, it was the worst. And then I remember they gave me some public shitty solicitor. These times I'm thinking, I don't even know why the fuck I'm here. We get in the room, they read out the statement. It turns out we got arrested for criminal damage. Someone had um, smashed up part of the car or taken parts of cars or whatever. And I'm like, I don't remember doing this. Obviously, I'm pissed out my head, so. But when we were in the interview room, I remember at the time my dad was in there. And I had this public solicitor who was shit. And he weren't saying nothing. The interview was just going on. And I'm thinking, I'm pissed. So I don't know. I'm not thinking nothing. And then my dad interrupts the interview and goes, no, 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 no. I want to stop this interview. This is, I'm like, my dad starts being a solicitor. It's mad. Um, and he's like, no, I want to stop this interview. And he was like, I've not heard one part of this interview where I've heard you say or describe exactly my daughter. Because we were all wearing the same clothes. It turned out it was actually the other girl. And it weren't even me. <laughs> I was actually wrongly arrested because we were wearing the same outfit. It wasn't even me, but yeah, I remember. And afterwards, I remember my dad was so pissed. He argued with the feds like for ages until they literally wiped off the record, gave out all my tapes. I wish I still had that recording because, ah, oh, if I did, I don't know where that recording's gone. I must have chucked it a long time ago because if I still had that recording, it's fucking hilarious. I don't even remember all of it, but the bits I do remember, I sound so pissed. It's so funny. I wish I had it. I wish I had it, but I don't. Oh, I can't find it, but I'm pretty sure because I've moved, I don't have it now. But yeah, so that was basically why I got <laughs> arrested. But I got stopped and searched multiple times. They tried to put me on an ASBO because they were trying to insinuate that. Um, I think I hid a knife, which again, I didn't actually do. So I actually was doing things that were bad, not those things in particular. I, I hadn't, I probably actually, it's a lie. I'm pretty sure I had done criminal damage at some point. But I actually was doing things that were bad. But every time I got arrested or try, they tried to put me on something, I'd never actually done the thing they got me for. So I was like, you actually need to catch me in the actual act. Um, but yeah, so it was... <laughs> It was just crazy, but I was just one of these people, you know, we were just like, I, I've never like done anything mad. It was more just, I did like stealing. Um, I, that that was a funny story. Now I didn't actually get arrested for that. My best friend did. Um, basically, <laughs> so I would do things, like I said, I would do things like drink. I'd done like drug, um, stealing, you know, things like that. Um, but I'd never like physically harm someone or stabbed anyone or anything like that. Um, it was more like harm to myself probably than anything, the things I was doing. But, um, yeah, it was more, we would just hang around on the street. You know how it is, get police chases, all that kind of crap. Um, but they honestly were the most exciting days of my life. Now I'm at this age and I'm like, <sighs> all I do is sit in my four walls and drink water. <laughs> this particular time, I basically bought an eyeliner from Superdrug and then I was pissed. And this was when I was young again, about 14 because I lost it and I thought, I don't want to buy another one. Obviously stealing is wrong, I repent for this. I've already repented, I should say, but this was a long time ago, I was a kid, didn't really know what I was doing. Um, basically, I was like, no, I've got to get another one. And my friend, like my best friend at the time was with me, so I was like, I'm going to go and steal it, basically. So <laughs> obviously I went and did that. Why am I the with the one for bad ideas? So yeah, I went basically and stole the eyeliner, got away with it, um, didn't have to buy another one. And I think that maybe inspired my friends. That's why you gotta be careful who's around you. But obviously when you're young, you're very impressionable. Although to be fair, probably so are still a lot of adults by the sounds of things right now. But anyway, um, so yeah, basically we went into Super Dark. And then after that, like they started to do it and our school actually got known for it because you remember in the blazers where you would basically have like a pocket and then you could rip at the bottoms that go down to the bottom of your blazer. So our whole school were kind of known for robbing from Super Dark. <laughs> Great. Um, and we were very distinctive in our brown shitty uniforms. So we were just, we were known for that anyway, but I wouldn't always do it in my uniform. I think most of the time I actually did it out of my uniform. But um, yeah, so then my friends started doing it or whatever. And then one time, she went to steal and I was outside going to another shop and she went in super she was going to steal something. So, and then I came back to wait outside for her because we decided to meet there and she didn't come back out. And then I see her getting taken back like through. And th this time I actually hadn't stolen. It was actually her that time. It wasn't actually me. But you see her getting taken back with the security guards. I've just been like, oh shit, what do I do? And I'm like, I need to find everyone else and tell them. Like, <laughs> like she's been taken. So I remember just legging it because obviously it was the point of me staying there at the time I, I wasn't even doing nothing but I remember just legging it all the way back to I was like oh my god she's been arrested <laughs> this is my other best friend like telling the whole group so I felt I don't know why I felt like what the rest of us were going to do clearly nothing but obviously you need some support in this situation um again I never actually got caught stealing myself but I definitely did multiple times um but yeah that story just made me laugh because I was like oh it's typical isn't it <laughs> 
when she does it she got arrested um but yeah so i remember just running off and telling everybody but we used to always just do random crazy things like that um but yeah that that story that story was funny and i think that's the only time like i said i've actually been physically arrested from what i can remember um but yeah fun times i was a naughty child don't recommend it <laughs> but it, i know it sounds strange but when i turned about um when i turned about 16 i kind of turned quite sensible so i stopped drinking i did start smoking probably why i stopped drinking not that that's sensible and i'm not condoning that either um but i stopped drinking wasn't really interested in that whole party last and i'm still not i don't really drink like, I, I they do actually say if you start drinking younger you grow out of it quicker when you're older and i do fully believe that um i do feel like i had my drinking days at such a young age and i did enough of it trust me that i was just like i've had enough now i'm not really interested and i know it sounds bad because i don't condone doing that as a child ever i don't condone anyone doing it in general whatever age you are um any of that stuff because obviously most of it is sin but in a way when i went to uni when i really needed to buckle down i wasn't interested in any of that shit anymore i didn't do the whole massive party lifestyle i did it a little bit when i went to my first uni which i'll probably do a story time in another video because that was a whole other story i went to another uni and studied something else for did physio but quit after a few months and then yeah anyway um so yeah i did do a little bit there but that i was still quite young then um but other than that, after that, I didn't really party when I started physio. I went out a couple of times, but I didn't live there. I stayed at home. I just wasn't really interested in all that kind of stuff. I felt like I grew out of it very, very quickly. But even then, I didn't have the same beliefs as I do now. So it's a whole different cat of a fish anyway. Uh, cat or a fish? Cat or a fish. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I used to do some mad shit, you know. Honestly, sometimes I think God must have been looking out for me because I don't know how more bad things didn't happen to me of some of the stupid things I did. Um, but you live and you learn. But yeah, my life, to be fair, was exciting. And then when I got older and actually needed to study, I wasn't interested. So I was fully able to focus on my studying and my career and working. And yeah, so I actually kind of prefer it. But um, don't recommend. So yeah, definitely do repent for that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this story time. And I will see you guys in my next video.